All right, here is a view from Cincinnati on this early Tuesday. You can see some snow. Uh, of course, the roadway's a little bit slippery across the Ohio Valley, but now we're seeing some bigger issues even farther south across the southern U.S. and the Gulf Coast states. Here is the view from northwest Indiana, first of all. I-94 is actually closed due to uh, some significant traffic incidences there. Uh, but again, that's just one of the webcams uh, from Indiana. All right, this. How about this picture from Muscle Shoals, Alabama? You can see some snow on the ground, so kind of an interesting setup. This colder air settling south. We have winter storm warnings in pink, basically from Kentucky all the way down to central Texas. And then winter weather advisories from southern Texas to the Gulf Coast states. That's where we will have some wintry precip as well. Icing well, certainly will be a big concern that will make those roads slippery across uh, even far southern Texas. And then also some snowfall uh, mixed with sleet. Not very much, but enough to cause some issues on, again, area roads from Houston over to New Orleans and Mobile, Alabama, even the Panhandle of Florida. And we're going to see those snowfall tallies ramp up just a little bit as you head farther north. But again, this is all thanks to an Arctic air mass, which is settling south. So tonight and even early Wednesday, talking snow and that mixed precip down into southern Texas, the Gulf Coast state. As we travel up to the northeast, we're still tracking some wintry weather. Winter storm warnings have been posted for parts of Massachusetts, including Boston, uh, maybe upwards of six to nine inches at the heavy tallies. Boston certainly will have some shovelable and plowable snow there. This storm system again wraps up through the rest of the day and tomorrow. Finally by Wednesday night we'll see things improve but it will be uh, transitioning into some lake effect snow down into the Great Lakes region. Meanwhile a, a fairly decent push of Pacific moisture rolling in here talking one to two inches of liquid in terms of rainfall and the highest elevations will be picking up some snowfall but look at how cold it is across the region today. 30 degrees below average in the central U.S.